Good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, as you can see you join me in the 69. Uh, we are on our way to the shop to pick up uh, the hired muck spreader. Um, so I rang the shop or the dealership last night and organised to hire the muck spreader for today. Um, so that is what we're doing, we're getting off nice and early. Um, because the aim of today is to get some of our manure spread on our big field that we are going to plant hopefully tomorrow or the next day. So yeah, that's what we're up to. So we're almost there. It won't take long to get to the dealership. Now, I hope you guys are all well. Um, it's been busy lately on the farm, so... Um, it's good to be getting near the end of planting after we've done the muck all that we have left is to plant so yeah here's a muck spreader I thought it was out here um, I will get it hooked up and then go in and see them in the shop and uh, pay them so I'll pay them now so I don't have to do it when I drop it off later I think the 6-9 would be uh, man enough for this, I'm sure. It looks like a lovely much spreader here. So, again, another good combo. We'll have to go steady out of the shop just to make sure we don't take out the fence. There we go. So, yes, I will go in, pay them, and see you after I have done that. Okay, so there we go. That's them all paid. Um, they did say we have to bring it back clean, so we'll have to wash it before we bring it back. They said we can bring it back tomorrow morning or tonight, it just depends on what we want to do. So that gives us quite a lot of options. So yeah, I'll turn it back to the farm, and then we need to get the Merlot all hooked up to the bucket, and yeah, start some muck spreading. Okay, so we've just parked up there. Uh, I think that's a pretty good place, so we can just go from the muck straight into the muck spreader. Here's our bucket. So now we just got to run back down to the farm, hop in the Merlot, and get loading. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Um, like I said earlier, it's finally getting somewhere. Like we finally got our grain dryer in and. The yard's expanding a bit. Uh, obviously we have a decent amount of money, but that I want to put towards a new tractor. And a corn header for the combine. We also need to buy a planter very soon. So there's a lot of things on the list. And we can just drop our bale spike there. And take our Merlot up to uh, the muck heap. Um, but yeah, we've got the cows earning us money all the time, and we've still got this silage to cut, which I just haven't had time to do yet, so... I mean, we're getting there slowly, it's just these things take time. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So we get a loader ready, the bucket on. So I'm fairly sure there's loads of manure in here. I mean, it's a big, big pile and we've been collecting it for a long time, so we just we don't want to damage the uh manure spreader here. Oh, it looks like a bit of that's already spilt the other side. That's not too good. couple of bucketfuls. I'm not sure how many it's going to take to fill up completely, but uh, I can't imagine it would be m many. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. It doesn't seem to be denting the pile at all, so it'll be interesting to see how much muck we actually have 
in there. We can't see it in the map spread yet, so there must be a few more bucket loads to go in. There we go. It's sort of best if we just sort of scoop into the pile. That seemed to work the best here. Okay, so I think the uh, map spread is full up now. We've uh, just leave the Merlot here. Hop into the six nine. We're tidy up at the end, um, and we will head over to our field. So I'll probably chuck the drone up and see you guys once we're there. Here we are, back at the field again. So this is our second load, as you would have seen. Uh, it's going pretty well. I've got the uh, GPS set up. Well, we just made it in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a wide running width on this spreader. I'm pretty sure it's this run here, which I uh, got to. Uh, about halfway down, somewhere down here, I think we ran out. Yeah, so here's where we run out. Okay, so we need to unfold. Get those beacons off for now. Turn this much spreader on and um, get spreading. So, yeah, it's quite a quick job. Uh, the much spreader empties fairly quickly, but it's not too bad. We turn it off at the end and spin round, go back up, and that's all there is to it. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a fairly nice, easy job for um, for the tractor, and yeah, it's definitely good for the soil. Uh, since it's all our fresh manure, um, well, it's not that fresh. Some of it at the back's been there a while, but um, it will help. It help the worms in the soil, and um, yeah, put a lot of goodness back in, um, which is good. And obviously, it's free because um, we don't need to pay for the fertiliser, so yeah, that's always a bonus. Yeah, well, it's just cost us £300 to rent the uh, much spreader for the day, so which isn't actually too bad when you think about it. Uh, so yeah, after this is on, we'll be ready, ready to uh, direct drill this. We 
We've got some of our old crop here. Just go through that. There's a few missed bits here and there, but that's not the end of the world. So we will. We're getting through it. I mean, it's it's not too bad. I think there'll probably be three loads out here, maybe four. Uh, just depending on obviously how well it goes on. Um, but yeah, we might even be able to uh, start drilling this today, or maybe even go and collect our uh, corn planter or something like that this afternoon. And at the moment, we're doing pretty well on time, so. It's not taking as long as I thought. I thought this would take all day. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. So I'll crack on with this. And catch up with you guys in a bit. So I think this is the last bucket we need to fill the much shredder. And I think this will probably be the last load as well, if I'm honest. I think uh, I think we covered the ground pretty well, so uh, I think this will probably be it. I think that's the last bucket for we need. Uh, so I just leave the Merlot here for now. Um, cows are looking good. We haven't really made any sort of dent in the uh, muck pile there. Um, so I might ring up the BJ. They might be interested in buying some. I'm not too sure. We'll have to see. Uh, but we will get this back over to the field and finish that. Um, I was thinking I could, uh, tomorrow morning, take this muck spreader back and pick up our triple mowers which I think I'm going to buy uh, now the shop have got a John Deere set of triple mowers which I think will be good for the farm um, and then we can cut some silage down and uh, get that made um, it would definitely be good to have it would be another source of income for the farm um, so it's definitely definitely on the list of things to buy. Like I said, it's an endless list, but I mean, we're getting there. I would like to buy this much spreader too at some point. Uh, it's been very handy today. I really, really like using it. So and since we've got so much manure, I think it'd be silly not to buy uh, a much spreader. But I don't think we're going to buy it just yet. We'll have to wait until we have a bit more money. Um, Yes, we will um, get this field finished now and um, hopefully it won't take too long. I think it's over the back here is where we got to. I think this run here, yeah, that looks about right. So we unfold the much spreader again. Now, GPS has made this job very, very easy as well. It's another uh, purchase that was definitely worth it. So green star get those beacons turned off we don't need them on so yeah I think we had th this field's had a good coverage out here we'll just make sure every little bit's got some manure on it that way 
It's a nice even crop. So yeah. Right. So we've just got this little triangle bit left. It's not it's not gonna be too long and I think we'll probably have some spare left over in the muck spreader. We might just have to overlap it a bit in the field somewhere or uh, find somewhere to get rid of it. But we can't take it back uh, dirty. But I suppose we could uh, actually wash it off and take it back today. We might have time this afternoon. Um, since we are not we're not quite into the afternoon yet. It's 10 to uh, 12 so I think we probably will have plenty of time by the time we finish this gone back to the yard, washed off, it should be about right. Uh, we're not going to be needing the muck spreader for another while yet anyway, so. Alright, so there's just that little triangle bit left. Go back and try and cover that. And I think we just leave the muck spreader on until we get to the end of the uh, field. And hopefully that will clear most of it out. Here we are back at the gate, so it's all emptied out, and our field has been uh, spread. So yeah, it's looking good. It's a nice even coverage. Once it's been uh, drilled, it should take quite well. So we will just pull out the gate and shut up the gate for today because we won't be back. M might be back tomorrow, but we might not, depending on what we drill first, whether it's our corn or our uh, soybeans. Um, so that's that shut up, just make sure there's no cars coming. And um, yeah, we'll head back to the yard, wash this muck spreader off, and get it returned. So it's an actually really, really good morning. Nice and productive. Our barley field is looking very good out there, it's coming on well. That'll definitely be the first thing that we're gonna uh, be harvesting on this farm this year. So back in the yard here. We'll pull in, pull up next to the uh, jet wash here and um, just give it a quick rinse for the dealership. Because it's, you know, if they want us to take it back clean, we should. Uh, we'll just do our tractor wire at it too. Get that weight block nice and clean. Right, there we go. I think that's all good. Yeah, we'll turn this around and head back to the shop. While we're uh, on our way back to the dealership now, uh, I thought we could sort of take some to discuss uh, what you think, uh, what you guys, the vlog watchers, think the best way to go for the farm is. Um, I would love to hear your suggestions. You know, leave a comment on the vlog. Ask, just tell me what you think. Uh, maybe if it's what kind of br brand tractor we should buy or whether we should try and do more corn once we've grown this corn or whether we should try and do some more arable or even more cows or silage or anything I would love to hear everyone's sort of ideas and suggestions at some point in the future I'd like to upgrade the combine obviously not right now because uh, we definitely cannot afford that um, but it's definitely on the list so if anyone has any good combine brands or anything like that or some good models that are really reliable uh, leave them in the comments like I said um, but now we've got to try and back this round here can't really see much in the mirrors they need adjusting so we just sort of have to have a rough guess here So we're doing all right. So here, here are the mowers I was talking about. That front mower there, and this um, rear one's there. Oh, look at that! That's a bit of expert reversing, if I do say so myself. So it's perfect. Get these pipes off. Get the stand down. And um, yeah. So yeah, here's the mowers. I'll just show you a quick look. So they look quite nice. Uh, they're obviously second hand, but they've been well looked after. Um, yeah, I think I'll call it here for today's uh, vlog. Uh, next vlog, like I said, we'll either be uh, drilling our corn behind 
the dealership here or we'll be back in uh, the field with just muck spread planting our soybeans. But yeah, like I said, uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.